Okay guys, serious question time. Have you ever got a new graphics card or built a gaming system, put it together, loaded a game, and then heard this? Unfortunately, my friends, that is called coil wine. And once you've got it, you can't really get rid of it entirely. Like some things in life that should probably be left unnamed. I wouldn't know though. Fortunately though, there are some things you can do to limit the amount of coil wine in your graphics card, and that's obviously what we're gonna focus on today. With its dual BIOS, 10 plus two power phase delivery, RGB ACX 3.0 cooler, and factory overclock, the EVGA GTX 1070 and 1080 for the win are excellent choices for gamers who demand the best. Learn more by following the link down below. Now there's two things that can actually cause coil whine, and usually they kind of go hand in hand. One is when your graphics card is working under an extreme load. And what happens is the inductors in there, and without getting entirely too technical, the inductors in there get very excited and start vibrating around, and I'm sure this will end up as a GIF somewhere, but they start vibrating around when they operate at high frequencies, which are specifically related also to extremely high FPS. But your FPS doesn't have to be very high for those inductors to start vibrating around like, um, adult novelty, if you will, they can also do it when they're under high load, even if the FPS is low. I think a lot of gamers right now probably just said, just wear headphones and it won't matter. But believe it or not, I personally don't wear headphones very often when I'm gaming and uh, I, I don't wanna hear coil one. I think there are people out there obviously in that same situation, so this video is going to apply to you. What I'm gonna do now is play a couple of different games and just give you some sound clips so that you can see exactly what coil wine sounds like so that you can also help identify it in your system. But it, it could sound like it's coming from the graphics card and be coming from another component. So you wanna do the best you can to identify where the sound is coming from but I'm also gonna use a GTX 970. And the reason for that is the 970 was reportedly one of the worst Nvidia graphics cards when it came to coil wine ever. So if this method works with the 970, chances are it'll work with your graphics card too, but it doesn't work with all of them. And I'll show you that at the end of this video. Now this might be kind of an unpopular idea, but if the reason why you're getting coil wine is due to FPS runaway or where the graphics card will just go into this massive 100% utilization and let FPS go as high as it possibly can, turning on some sort of sync technology like V-Sync, G-Sync, FreeSync, or FastSync found on the new Pascal graphics cards is a way of reducing that coil wine. And the reason why I say it's not a popular solution is because most enthusiasts want to see high EP numbers when it comes to FPS. They wanna see FPS just go through the roof because it's kind of a bragging point as well. But unfortunately it's doing several things. Like I said, it's unnecessarily adding heat, load and noise to your graphics card. Your fans are having to ramp up to deal with that massive FPS. And if you don't have a high refresh rate monitor that can even keep those frames in sync anyway, all you're doing is getting a mess on your screen where you're gonna start getting tearing images with fast motions so it's just kind of a bad situation all around. Now I don't have any sort of G-Sync or FreeSync monitor hooked up to my test bench. This is just a Monoprice 4K monitor running in 1080 right now. And I wanna show you the difference by just turning on FreeSync, how much difference and how much reduced the coil line really was. Now the reason why turning on V-Sync in some games could be a bad idea, especially with competitive games like CSGO, is it could introduce some input lag because of the way V-Sync works. So that's why if you have some sort of a G-Sync or FreeSync panel, it would be a much better option than just turning on V-Sync because you're not gonna get any input lag because of the amount of time that's waiting, or the graphics card is waiting for the monitor to be ready for the next frame. Especially if you're dealing with high FPS games like CSGO that can go up into the hundreds of FPS 
and your monitor can only draw 60. Unfortunately though, this method doesn't always remove all of the coil whine, but it can do a pretty good job of at least reducing it to the point to where you're not gonna hear it over the sounds of your game or the graphics card being closed inside of a sealed case. As an example here of my AMD uh, R9 Nano, which is an HBM, and unfortunately one of the noisiest coil whine offenders I have ever heard, here is how it fared both before and after. Now this video probably falls under the category of duh to a lot of experienced gamers and PC hardware enthusiasts. So obviously I'm talking to the person who's listening to this noise, not knowing what it is and wants to know what to do about it. Now returning graphics cards because of coil wine has always been a debate in the community where some manufacturers do not see coil wine as being a reasonable reason to RMA a product where other manufacturers do. So if you think you have excessive coil wine, the best thing to do would be probably to contact the manufacturer of your graphics card if you're still under warranty and see how they're dealing with coil wine. Some cards, even of the exact same category, the exact same card under manufacturers can have varying levels of coil wine. But fortunately, manufacturers are doing a lot of things to try and reduce that do the inclusion of better components and better manufacturing and design to try and reduce coil wine as best as possible. So hopefully today's video has helped you. And if you have coil wine, man, I feel you. I've so many graphics cards are plagued with this, but fortunately, as you can see, there is some things you can do to try and reduce the levels of coil wine. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video. And if you've got a topic you want me to cover, then make sure you guys email me, tweet me, message me, whatever, so that I can see the topic. A lot of these topics come directly from my inbox and then eventually make it onto your screen. All right, guys, thanks for watching.